Hey, I'm Brandon from Gentleman and Whiskey. And I'm John. And today we are trying Blind, two of 2023's heaviest hitter releases. Other people seem to like them, so we're gonna tell you if we do. We do. Spoiler alert. Okay, so uh, we've got the 13th Colony, Double Oaked. Man, I should get this on, I think, seal box. No, it was Bourbon Outfitters. It was Bourbon Outfitters. It is a hefty $200 bottle, but it is pretty solid. Brand it's new. crazy. Yep. And then we have a Lodge Craig Barrel Proof C923. So that is one that I know a bunch of our friends have tagged us, asking us when we're going to do ours. Yeah. So ours is now open, and it's been open for two, three weeks now. <laughs> My personal one's open and down to there. If only you had a backup. I do. My wife has poured these. We've got them in the chocolate glens, in part because there is a humongous color difference between these. If we put these two beside each other in clear yes. glens, yep. it would probably be obvious which one is which. The 13th Colony Double Oaked is a very, very dark whiskey. And there's about a five proof point difference. This one, I think, is 138.6. 136.8. Sorry. And this is 133.0. So 13 year old whiskey and then who the hell knows. But it is double oaked and is full flavor. Dude, it's crazy. I mean, it's like what I immediately said was this is a stag killer. They say ECBPs are stag killers. Mm -hmm. I've never had an ECBP that I thought was a stag killer. I think C923 and maybe C920 are the two that I have tasted that come mm -hmm. as close as possible yep. to like contending with stag. Yeah. But I tasted that 13th Colony, and I said, dude, this is a stag killer. Right. But it's me. problematic, too, because it is stag secondary in pricing. Yeah, it's true. Yep. That's enough about that. Let's get to the whiskey, what everyone's here for. Are we starting with the one on the left? Yeah, let's yeah. go left. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, dude. Cheers, everybody. This is, you have one, right? I have one. Okay, Yeah, cool. this is number one. Made that mistake before. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whew. God bless America, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I know what this is. I also think that I know. In my head, it's like, I need to smell the other one. Get, am I allowed to smell the other one before sure. we taste this one? Sure. Do I have to? I don't know what two is. I'm pretty sure I know what one <laughs> is. It smells like pure gasoline. Yeah, wow. It's very hot. It's very ethanol-y, but you can still get in there. It's hot, it's spicy, it's oaky. There's like some nuttiness to it. Yeah, there's some some sweet notes too. Getting like some cherry. Yeah. This video, I have to remind myself, in my head, I'm always like trying to guess which one's which. Cause I'm like, I'll be a better whiskey taster if I can guess. But like, that really doesn't matter. It's just, which one of these do I like more? All right, you want to taste this or what? Yeah. Cheers. Oh, it's like cherry. Mm -hmm. It's very sweet. Wow. Sweet, dark chocolate, a lot of like oak, a lot of like tannic, yeah. astringent oak. Yeah, dude, I, the mouth experience is like so full, like the proof explodes. It's like a bang, like you sip it and then it just like. I'm a big fan of that. I can see where not everyone would like it because it is very hot. This is hot in all the right ways for me. If it were actually, I think, cut, that dark chocolate like astringency would probably take over. I think it would get sour too. Yeah, I mean, okay, so if you're not a proof person, I'm not recommending ECBPs or these 13th Colony. Right. If you're not someone who likes high proof, I'm not recommending stags. I'm not I'm not even recommending like wild turkey rare breed if you're not into higher proof stuff, you know, like probably. I think rare breed with an ice cube would be fine. Okay, to be fair, rare breed is not, I don't think comparable to these. My point is, yeah. if you're not into high proof whiskey, nothing in this category is really like probably going to be up your alley. Probably. So not. don't spend hundreds of dollars Correct. on bottles like yes. this. But people are excited about the age of this. So agreed. So two, two. It smells like pure butter. It's like brown butter, like brown sugar syrup. Like I make these uh, bourbon pecans. Brown butter, brown sugar, bourbon pecans that are really good. Mm -hmm. That's what this smells like. Like some sweetness and like tons of butter. Yeah. I get the sweetness, a little bit of nuttiness, a little bit of proof, but it's honestly, I think this one, I think number one is hotter on the nose than number two. Oh, for sure. But 
it, it's got it. Like, if you breathe in real deep, like, get really in the Glen, you can tell that it's... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm at not least saying... 133. I'm saying, yeah, I'm not saying there isn't proof on it. I'm just saying of the two, one dose is higher. Do you ever have the blue pixie sticks? I mean, like, probably when I was six. I get blue pixie sticks off this, like the really? tropical fruit ones. There's just something on, especially, like, the end of the nose that's, like, really fruity, like, pineapple-y, mm. like... Yeah, I get, like, the, like... Like a fruitiness for sure. All right, time to try it. Yeah, dude. Cheers. I agree with that. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Sweet. It's nutty though. Yeah. Palette. Cherry and maple. Like walnuts, probably. That drinks a lot hotter than it noses. The oak is there. Yep. Loads of cherry. Dude, I'm still getting like flavor. It like pops on the back of your tongue. Yeah. With like heat. Mm hmm. Like cinnamon red hot. It's like warm. Yeah. Cinnamon warm. Cinnamony. Delicious. It's tasty. All right. Back to one here. One now, there's like a lot more vanilla on the nose. I get sawdust. Mine's also gone. So. R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> one is way fruitier on the palate. Whoa. It is like a true cherry bomb. The only thing that I sometimes get like a more cherryish note on is like some jack daniels products mm. like a little bit of like purple like real sweet grapes this drink's so hot number two they both drink hot they both drink hot but like this one is like more balanced maybe are you ready to make some determinations yeah first question which one do i like better real tough because they're different i think they're actually very close <laughs> very I mean, flavor profile wise they're both, they both hit like the same main points. Like they're sweet, fruity, oaky. They're very similar on nose and palate, both of them. Also, I think it's to be said that the nose and palate on both of them is very identical. Between it's very nose and palate. It's yes, consistent. It's consistent right? between so the, the nose, nose and palate. Yeah, dude, I agree with that 100%. I like two better a little bit. And I think it's literally the heat. Like it's more of a, it could be a mood thing. It could be a what I'm in the mood for. Yeah, I like I don't one know. better. You like one and better? And it's not particularly close. One gives me Parker's Heritage Double Barrel vibes. Two gives me... <laughs> ECVPA <Yeah>, 123. AC... <laughs> <laughs> no. Yep. No. I think it's got... like <laughs> I think it's the best of ECBP. Oh, full disclosure. So I think we're on the same page. We're on to the, the same, same guesses. <laughs> I think one yeah. is... 13th column, I think yep. two is ECBP. ECBP. Yeah. I think before we say anything more and make fools of ourselves, we should probably check what it is. Yeah, because we've been wrong before. We have been way wrong before. <laughs> okay, so one is on the left, two yep. is on the right, and one is 13th colony and two is ECBP. So, okay. nailed it. We did it. Woo! I think this is the best ECBP since C920. And I don't think it's particularly close. A123 or B523, or I really write off, honestly, any of the 21 and 22s. They are not good, in my opinion. So this is the best that I've had any Elijah Craig Barrel Proof product. Interestingly, we did, at 717, we did a blind mm -hmm. C920 and C923. Yep. And I helped Uncle Dave, shout out to Uncle Dave, because he supplied the bottles. Yep. For this. He cracked them at the same time mm -hmm. and he and I poured them blind. So I knew what everybody was tasting and he mm -hmm. knew what everybody was tasting. So yep. I got to just compare in my head C920 and C923. And it was yep. crazy. C920 is hotter mm -hmm. and this has like more complex fl flavor. And the majority of people at the table picked C923. My point is, I'm agreeing with you. I think C922 was really good. That was my favorite of 2022, C922. And I'm just saying this because you're sharing your opinions of ECVPs, right? And yeah. I'm sharing mine. Mm -hmm. A123 really, really liked. B523 was like good, middle of the road. Some people really liked it. This has been like yeah, a cut above. This is the only one that is comparable to Stag to me. No, I agree with you. I, But I also have been someone who has said, I don't think ECBPs are comparable to Stags. I think the, the comparison really comes in price-wise. The last couple years, price they have barrel. not even been close Proof wise, this is the first one that oh, is a yeah. return. Right, they're all like mid to 120s. a 130 plus proof. And right. C920 is 136 proof. There's a lot to be said, I think, for 
that proof really bringing the profile together. Mm -hmm. And I, I really honestly think this is the best one I've ever had. But I still think the 13th Colony wipes the floor with this. I, I really do not think this blind was close. One of my favorite whiskeys from the past couple years has been Parker's Heritage. Yes. That double-barreled ultra chocolate flavor. Yep. Similar to the Maker's Mark Cellar Aged. This was that 211 with way more fruit notes. I like this more than the Parker's Heritage double barrel. Ooh. I think this is my whiskey of the year. I know that you said that. And so let's go back to I tasted it and was like, hey, I think this is a stag killer. I think when I drink these two side by side, like this one on the palate is more explosive. This drank more balanced. Like, I would have bet that one was higher proof just in the full experience. I got a lot more in the nose and that like the, the comment that I made about the Elijah Craig after you swallow is like a pop of flavor. It was the same way on the first one too. Like to me, they are very close in proof, but I was definitely getting high proof notes off of the 13th colony. I think I, I would have pegged this for higher proof. This drinks way, mo way more like a stack, like fruity, the grapey, the red, the cherry, the like, this drinks like a stag, and this just, I mean, it tastes like a really great ECBP. And it's like, what am I in the mood for, you know? I think the 13th Colony drinks more like Coyhill than stag. That's a hot take. Ah. Ah. High proof take. High proof take. That is great. We're going to start calling them high proof takes. I honestly think that this comes down to our one and two of the year, though. Are like, you saying this is one and two of the year? Yeah. Dude, what about JD12, though? I think JD12 confidently sits at three. That's I think we're probably going to argue about this when we come out with our top five of the year. Probably. Look, maybe we just need to fight it out on a live stream. Argue in front of all of our friends. All five of those. So stay tuned. Our December live stream will be our top five of the year. We'll try 10 bourbons. Tell you which is our top five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll get obliterated on live stream? <laughs> it won't happen. Indisputably, these two are both really good. Dude, they're fantastic. Would you buy the 13th Colony at $200 plus? Plus, I mean, you're not going to find it at $200 now. That's tough. I've never spent more than 200 bucks on one bottle ever. I would buy it at 200 that being the most I've ever spent on a single bottle. If I had the opportunity to buy it at 300 yeah, I'm going to pass on it. Yeah. I'm going to pass on anything at 300 other than like BTAC. I know people have said this is a BTAC competitor, and I don't know that I disagree. What are you buying it at? What's the max you're paying for a backup? Of 13th Colony. That's tough because stuff like this, I generally don't get a backup. Okay, but I'm saying, like, you love this bottle. I do love this bottle. And like, but that's the thing. Like, I, I generally don't get backups of, like, stags. I don't get backups of... Well, is that intentional? Or, yeah, because I've had it. I would rather buy I'm something so that I've never had than a backup of something. Really? Yes. What? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. I mean, I would not pay 300 for another one of these. I don't know that I would pay 200 for another one of these. Uh, maybe the next batch. I'm really not a huge backup guy. I'm a Pokemon gotta catch them all guy. Did not know that. Holy crap. Brandon's learning stuff about me in front of a camera. All right, so how much you pay for this? No higher than MSRP. Max I would pay for a backup. It, dude, it's real hard for me to like drink through a bottle of something I absolutely love and not have a backup. So I'm a backup guy. But max, I'm paying on a backup is 100 bucks, like $99. Or 100 for a backup. Well, we did both pass on $99 ones. That was more circumstantial. Unseen, that though. was circumstantial. I'm now, just saying we did both pass on Let me put it this bucks. way. Now that I've tried it, I'm getting it for 100 bucks. All right. All right. So if you enjoy either of these bottles, drop us a comment. If you disagree with Brandon or myself... Drop a comment. Yeah, you argue, have, argue with us about high proof takes in yeah. the comments. If you guys have any other in your top five of 2023, oh, let yeah. us know. Let What's us know. your list? We'd love to know what we missed, what, uh, what we didn't get this year that you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we hope to see you next time. Cheers, everybody. How do we want to intro this? How do we want to intro this, dude? Like, hey, I'm Brad from Gentleman Whiskey. Yep. And today we've got two of the heaviest hitters of all year.